Hello, John and Trista. So I just wanted to take time to do a quick walk around video on a um, couple of rogues. So you'll kind of be familiar with them um, before getting here. I'm all about saving people time so they don't have to um, spend any time longer at the dealership than they have to. So this way you'll at least be a little familiar with it. So currently I'm sitting in a 2000. This is a pre-owned one. It's a 2017 um, SL Rogue Sport. This is the one we looked at right before you left that John liked. It was the white one. Um, so I just want to go over this one with you and then I'll do another one on a new one SV Rogue. So one video, this one will be a Rogue Sport. The next one will be on a Rogue, okay? So let's go through some of the features here on this one. Obviously this one's going to have a sunroof, which you guys saw um, earlier when you were here. So let's go down here. So this will have navigation on it and it does have the bird's eye view camera. So on the left, you have the front. On the right, you have the left, front, left, right, and rear. And then you can hit this camera button again, and it'll pull up the curb over here so you can uh, park without uh, running to the curb or damaging your rims, hitting your tire on there. Now, you only need to push this camera button if you want to see what's in the front of you. Um, you can put it in reverse. And let me get that off of here. By putting it in reverse, that'll automatically pop up for you. So you only have to push that if you want to see what's in front of you. Next, you'll have dual temperature controls here. So if um, one of you cold nature and the other one's hot nature, you can change the temperature for the driver and the passenger in the front. And then if we move down here, you do have, um, there's your charging ports there. So USB and your auxiliary. Now this will have heated seats also, as you can see there. All right. Now this does have blind spot warning, which that's what this light is. So this light will illuminate orange if someone is in your blind spot and it will flash and make an audible sound if you turn on your blinker to indicate you're going to go into an area a car is already occupying. So it does have the blind spot warning in it. And down here, as you see, it does have a heated steering wheel, which is this button here. All right. Now we come up here. You do have, this is your controls for that screen. So you can go through this and it'll change that screen for you there. All right. Here's obviously your volume control, your stereo and the back button. And over here, here's your Bluetooth functions and right here is your intelligent cruise control so you set this just like you would in a, any car you set the speed the cruise you want to be at so let's say we set it at 70 well because this has intelligent cruise control on it and let's say traffic slows to 65 miles per hour this vehicle will slow down without you hitting the brake um, it basically reads the car and the traffic in front of you and it adjusts its speed without you having to hit the gas or brake. Now, if traffic speeds back up, this car will speed back up, or if you move from behind the slow vehicle, it will speed back up um, to the 70 miles per hour, for example, that you've set. Now, this here is the distance you can pick. So there's three bars here, if I can get my camera to focus. So you can pick the distance in which you stay away from another vehicle. So three bars is 300 feet, two bars is 150, and one bar is 100. So um, that's some of the features. And then you do have um, em emergency braking. So basically this vehicle will stop or apply brake pressure if traffic stops in front of you abruptly even if you don't have intelligent cruise control, emergency braking is a safety feature. So if traffic stops and you don't realize it, this vehicle will apply brake pressure to minimize impact. Another good thing, moving object is, so basically this car will detect moving objects in the area around the vehicle. So with move, moving object, for example, if someone walks through this spot, this will, area will light up the borders will turn yellow and flash so you'll know somebody's in that spot all right now the cross traffic alert that is if someone's driving behind you is sensors that pans out kind of in a cone shape to detect traffic that's coming for you or towards you when you're backing up so that's some of the just a few of the main features on the rogue sport and 
open it up and let you see what the interior looks like here. All right, this is the rear, and these seats do come down if you need it. And give you a different perspective. This is the front. All right, and we do have zero gravity seats, which is technology inspired by NASA. They're just ridiculously comfortable seats, which you'll see when you drive it, sit in it today. But this is the Rogue Sport, um, and I just want you to remember the profile of this, because this is shorter and smaller than the Rogue, which you'll see when I do the other video. Um, just a nice quality vehicle. This has a sportier feel to the steering, whereas the Rogue is a little smoother turning which um, if you guys have time tonight, we'll drive them so you can see the difference, all right? Okay, so Tristan and John, that's a quick look at the Rogue Sport. I'll be making a video on the uh, regular Rogue also, and that will be an SV. So I'll explain to you the differences, and it'll be new, so it's going to have a little more technology in it. But I'll go over that in the video. So this is the Rogue Sport. I'm going to do another one on the SV regular Rogue so you can see the difference.